The Southern Poverty Law Center has nothing to do with poverty or the South. It exists solely to destroy the lives of anyone who stands in the way of the Democratic Party, usually the most vicious way. That's why the FBI often cites the Southern Poverty Law Center when it calls people domestic terrorists. But it turns out, and this will not shock you, domestic terrorism is coming from inside the house. Fox's Trace Gallagher has that amazing story for us tonight. Hey, Trace. Hey, Tucker. Just so we're clear, the Atlanta police chief called this attack on the Atlanta Public Safety Training Center this weekend a, quote, violent attack for the purpose of anarchy. And it turns out one of the Antifa members arrested and charged with domestic terrorism is 28-year-old Thomas Jurgens, an attorney for the Southern Poverty Law Center. Jurgens is accused of using a peaceful protest as cover for conducting a violent coordinated attack on both buildings and police officers in Atlanta. Now, it's interesting that Jurgens is accused of using peace to justify violence because the Southern Poverty Law Center has long been accused of monitoring hate while propagating hate. In fact, the SPLC has identified almost a thousand people, organizations, and charities as hate groups, with the word hate being defined as anything SPLC disagrees with. Muslim women's rights activist Ayan Hirsi Ali was labeled as a white nationalist by SPLC, and yet the FBI continues and has used SPLC as a source for who should be considered domestic terrorists. The Southern Poverty Law Center released a statement saying that Thomas Jurgens was simply a legal observer and that the arrest of the violent protesters is nothing more than state repression by heavy-handed police, except the heavy hands tossing the Molotov cocktails belong to Antifa members. Incredible. Trace Gallagher, thanks for that. Good to see